Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of Pokemon. Train in the world. Oh no, you're not. No, you're not. I am. I am you fool. Alright. Blue, last person, the champion. We're at the champion now. So, first Pokemon is gonna send out is Pidgeot. Pidgeot is his flying type, normal and flying, knowing the moves, aerial laser foot, feather dance, and sand attack and whirlwind. Sand whirlwind and sand attack are pretty useless, but feather dance will kill will become an advantage later on the in the battle because of its because it could like lower, you, it can sharply lower your attack, lowering it by two stages. So I recommend you just k take it out with a, with a powerful electric type move. And aerial ace is not really a, a move you should watch out for. So I get a whole bunch of experience and I level up for that. Level 56. So next Pokemon he's gonna send out is is um Rhydon. So I'm gonna go ahead and send out my Hinder. Rhydon is a rock and ground types four times effective against water type water type moves and it knows rock tomb take down earthquake and st scary face level 59 this one is pretty hard now actually not pretty hard if you have a good water type move so I just used water pulse and took it out in one hit so next Pokemon he's gonna send out is is executor executor is a psychic and, and grass type just take it out with a with a fire type move or ghost or or dark or some other move, I don't remember what else. Um, this one knows Sleep Powder, Light Screen, Giga Drain, and Egg Bomb. Egg Bomb is a powerful move on Executor. I recommend you at least try to have a Pokemon that can live against, live against an Egg Bomb. And I just KO'd that thing. It's a level 61, I forgot to say that. So, Clone gets a whole bunch of experience for that. And the next Pokemon he's going to send out is Blastoise. So I'm going to go ahead and send out my Shadow Jolt. Shadow Jolt should be able to defeat this dude, this Blastoise. So Blastoise is level 63, his highest level Pokemon, knowing the moves, Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, Bite, and Skull Bash. This Pokemon, will he will use Rain Dance to raise up his Hydro Pump and make it 100%, I think 100% 100 accuracy, I think, I'm not sure. But if you have a Pokemon that knows Thunder, then Thunder is raised, accuracy is raised up to 100, that's that, so that gives you an advantage if you have Thunder. So I recommend you go, just use Thunder. Keep on using Thunder so you can kill it. Because since Thunder is a par, is the most strongest electric type move. So Blastoise goes down in two hits. So I go. So he only has two Pokemon left: Alakazam and and Arcanine. So I'm gonna go ahead and send out my my um, Hinder again, so I could so I could go ahead and use a Slash. But something bad happens. So. Alakazam, level 57, knowing the moves, Psychic, Reflect, Future, Future Sight, and Recover. This Pokemon is pretty hard if you, if you underestimate it. It has pretty powerful Psychic type moves and you can use Reflect to, to raise its defenses and Future Sight to probably do some later damage on your Pokemon and Recover to recover some of its HP. This Pokemon has some nice moves. Recover. Reflect is probably one of its best moves, and Psychic is its, is its powerful move. So I recommend you at least, at least have a Pokemon that knows Shadow Ball or Bite, or at least Crunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and send out my Mystic, and I'm gonna go ahead and use Dragon Claw on it. See how much that does. Probably Dragon Claw might just kill. So I'm gonna let my Mystic go ahead and use Dragon Claw, and it uses and it uses Reflect. So I go ahead and use oh I didn't use Dragon Claw, I use Double Edge. Wow. So I go ahead and use Double Edge and it lowers it down to red HP. It's pretty retarded, isn't it? So I go ahead and use a Dragon Claw and it goes ahead and, you, and Blue goes ahead and use a full restore. That's pretty retarded, isn't it? Pretty retarded. So I use a Dragon Claw and it lowers it down to to yellow HP. It lowers it down to ye the yellow HP and then I go ahead and use another Dragon Claw. But, it use, but Blue uses another full restore. That's why this battle is so annoying, but it was pretty easy with my team. So I go ahead and use another Dragon Claw, and I do I do not kill it 
if I go ahead and use another Dragon Claw, he uses another full store like a little retard. That just annoyed me the whole entire battle. Just use like four full stores. So another Dragon Claw and it does not kill still. So he goes ahead and uses a psychic and psychic does not does a crud load of damage and kills kills Mystic, so Mystic is down, so I'm gonna go ahead and send out my Shadow Drill and I went ahead and used Shadow Ball. Why am I sending out Stretch? Is there a reason why I'm sending out Stretch? Oh, but it's gonna, it's gonna die by that move, isn't it? Yeah, I recorded this like three, four days ago, so don't blame me for not knowing what I did. <laughs> Recording. The Recording episodes you don't even know what to do. You don't even remember what you did this pro. So I'll go ahead and use a Shadow Ball, and it kills off Alakazam. So Alakazam is down, and I only have four Pokemon left, and he has one Pokemon left. So I'm going to go ahead and send out... I don't remember what I'm going to send out. I'm going to send out Clone. Yeah, Clone, and I'm going to use the Earthquake. Probably take it down with a, with like two or three earth, Earthquakes. So but there's, there's a lot more of this battle coming up. So I hope you guys are ready. This Arcanine is level 59, knowing the move, Flamethrower, Earth, Extreme Speed, Bite, and Roar. Extreme Speed is, is the fastest move you'll ever have on an Arcanine. It is super fast. You'll let the Pokemon attack first and it's powerful. Flamethrower is a powerful move too as well. If you at if you attack Arcanine with a flame with a fire type move, you it has flash fire and it will raise its fire type move and it probably will kill your your fire type even if you have a fire type or a ground type it will kill your whole team if you use a fire type move so i recommend you try to use ground rock or water type moves on it so you won't have to like die so clone goes so arcanine kills off my clone and i have to go i have to go ahead and send out my other pokemon i have no idea what i send out I think I sent out, yeah, I sent out Shadow Jolt, and I'm gonna try to go for a Thunder, Thunder, which misses, so that's pretty sad. And Arcanine goes ahead and uses Flamethrower, it doesn't do much, I think. Yeah, it almost killed off Shadow Jolt, so I'm gonna go ahead and use another Thunder, and uses Extreme Speed, and kills off Shadow Jolt. Pretty annoying, isn't it? But I don't care. I have one more Pokemon left, and it is Egg Tree. You guys must think I'm gonna lose, aren't don't you? But I did this on purpose for you guys to like get up on your knees and get on your toes and see if I'm gonna lose. So I'm gonna go ahead and re use a revive and I'm gonna revive. I'm gonna go ahead and revive Mystic because Mystic could take the most hits on my team and Charizard. So I'm gonna out of those two, I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna revive Mystic. So Egg Tree goes ahead and dies in one hit with flamethrower and flamethrower is a pretty powerful attack on Arcanine so that's pretty deathifying if you want to say that so I go ahead and set out my mystic and I go ahead and use a revive again and revive clone just in case just in case for like drastic measures in case dra mystic dies or anything so mystic takes takes like takes extreme extreme speed like a like a man takes it like a man so I'm gonna go ahead and use a f hyper potion on a mystic, so I can at least take you take it out with a dragon claw. Cause since dragon claw is, is mystic's part strongest move. Um. So now, now you guys think what what is gonna happen now? I'm gonna go ahead and use use a dragon claw and see if I can take it out with a dragon claw. But probably probably I probably might probably won't take it out, but it's a possibility. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a Dragon Claw and it kills? No, it does not. It heals up like a little retard. Again. So, he, Blue uses another full restore, fully he healing up Arcanine and whoop de do. I use another Dragon Claw and it lowers it down to, I think a quarter? I think that's a quarter. And it doesn't do much with Flamethrower, so it so it lowers it to 40 HP. And didn't really do much after 40 or 48. So I almost kill Arcanine. I just need to use one more move. I'm probably gonna use an Outrage. Probably not. So I went ahead and heal up my Mystic because it was about to die if it, if Arcanine used another Flamethrower. 
so it uses a bite, and bite didn't do nothing. So I go ahead and use a a double edge, and s yeah, I went. At, yeah, I did another dragon claw, like a little noob I am. Forgot to didn't even. No, I used dragon. Claw. So it lowers down to 105 HP, and I use a dragon claw. Hope I get a crit. Crit. Nope, it does not kill. And I go ahead and use my weakest move, Iron Tail. And guess what? And guess what? You guys probably think I'm gonna miss, but I don't. I attack with tail, Iron Tail, and I beat Arcanine, the final Pokemon of his team, and I beat Blue. That was pre that was a pretty easy battle. It wasn't really that easy. So Pokemon Trainer Blue has been defeated, or Champion Blue has been defeated. The yeah, arena is already is over. Yeah, I don't know, whatever. You 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 suck. Why? Why did I lose? Yup. Yeah, I'm putting the credits in this episode. Yeah, I made. I didn't never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it! You're the new Pokemon champion. Yep, I am. Although I don't, I don't like to admit it. Red. Yeah, I won. I beat you. So you've won. Sincerely, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown so much since you first left the Charmander to work on the on the Pokedex, right? You have come of age. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Blue, I'm in the, I'm disappointed in you. I came when I came when I heard you beating the Leaf Four. Yeah, it wasn't that long. But when I got here, you already lost. Blue, you understand why you lost? You have forgotten. Whatever. I don't feel like reading this. Without, you'll never become champion again. Red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. Keep going, keep talking, I don't care. I could care less. Just hurry up and get to the credits. Come on. I don't want to come with you. No. 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 You have to leave me to a dark room. No. No, rapist. No, no, no. Oh. oh. Is this a Pokemon Center? No. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, you're gonna heal up my Pokemon. Yay, we have beaten the Pokemon League. Yay! Like little gay kid, yay! Pokemon League for the win! Pokemon League for the win! Yay! 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 Alright, so Jolteon! Yay! Charizard! Clone! Mystic! Dragonite! Yay! Yay! Hinder! Kabutops! Executor! Extry! And Hitmon League Stretch! That was my whole team! Yay! I beat the Pokemon League! Welcome to the Hall of Fame! Okay, you guys must be wondering. Am I gonna do after game? Yes, I'm gonna be doing after game. I will do after game, but it's gonna be pretty rare, and I really do not want to like make you guys think I'm not gonna do after game. But I am gonna do after game, so get out of your minds now. I'm gonna do after game, but it's gonna come very, very rarely, and I'm probably not gonna upload every day of the Pokemon of the of the um after game. So the after game will probably come in two weeks, two or three weeks tops, and. You guys might get might get a little sneak peek. No, like a little hint of my next LP. It's probably it's gonna be my best LP, although it's gonna be my second LP. So I hope you guys enjoy this let's play. I wanna I wanna at least give some people credit for what they have done for me. Panda for getting me through this LP for not for not letting me quit or anything. Or Kyle, whatever. The untamed panda, yeah. Him. Um I like to thank Shadow Jordan for making my Leaf Four sidebar. Jack Reaction for making my for making my Let's Play sidebar like overall sidebar. And thank you guys for watching and liking my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this LP as much as I did. Although I thought this LP was pretty boring and well, it is a first LP and uh, first LPs are pretty boring and pretty rusty and boring and a whole bunch of stuff. So my next LP, you guys must be wondering, when my next LP is going to happen? My next LP is going to happen like in a couple days, probably two max. I'm going to be doing with my good friend Casual Gamer in 1994, I think 1994, or 1996. He's a great guy, go ahead and check him out. I'll put him, I'll put him, I'll put his annotations somewhere in this video, like probably on top of Red's head, probably somewhere. So I hope you guys enjoy this walkthrough and like... Yeah. So, we're just walking home and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. And again, I'm saying it. Yeah, I'm saying it. Whatever. I don't care about you guys. I'm kidding. You guys were, were great. You guys were a great 
fan base and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys next time on my next LP. Peace and have a nice day. Bye guys.